it's Hillary with Tempo Cells. I'm here in my storage unit and I thought I would just, I didn't want to do two hauls in a row, but um, I thought I'd show you kind of how I work my inventory. So we're going to start with a little bit of a haul. I just went to a little local thrift shop because they usually have really good deals and they had sent out an email last week saying that they had way too many clothes. Um, I did not make it out there last week. What in the world is going on here with this? It's not keeping my ears warm. My ears are cold. It is pouring outside, by the way. But anyway, let's just get to the haul so we can get to our um, items. Uh, I picked up this John Deere jacket. John Deere always sells really well for me. Um, it is an extra, extra large. Uh, it is by Turning Point, so it's not a John Deere licensed merchandise, I don't think. Uh, but... I probably wouldn't have got it. It was $10, but uh, they had a sign that said jackets $10 or more were $5 off. So this jacket was $5. I try not to buy jackets in the winter, jackets and coats in the winter. I try to buy them off season because I figure, you know, the people that really need a coat, a, a, an expensive coat, will need it when it's cold out. So I try to leave them there. Um, I'll pick up one or two depending, especially if it's like fancy you know but we're getting warm here it's just cold today um this uh african print or batik print uh dress i got for um i think my live sale it was five dollars i might keep it <laughs> i'm gonna go home and try it on and see if it fits because it is so beautiful i mean look at the covered buttons and everything um normally i wouldn't uh, buy something for $5 for my live sales because uh, I like to keep the price down low because um, where I host live sales um, it's a bunch of women that are already shopping at thrift stores so uh, you know they're not going to want to they know you, what you paid for it and they don't want to you know get price gouged when they're just going to go to the thrift store the next day um, I also got this for live sales, which is an Alfred Dunner, um, which I normally don't pick up, but it's a burnout, like little tie jacket. And it was 50 cents and it's a size 16 and I'm low on my plus sizes. So I've been kind of looking for those. I was actually supposed to go to this other um, thrift store today because uh, they have uh, bag sales. So um, these are, I just got for me, they are um, Levi's. They are size eight, I believe. Is that what that means on the thing? They were $2 and they have lid cuff. Um, is it stitched up? Oh no, it's not. Okay, I thought they were cuffed. Well, okay, color me dumb. Um, but they also have an interesting uh, stitch pattern on the back. I believe that's called the Arctuate. Arctuate. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Uh, finally, I think there's one more thing. Yeah, a pair of shoes, which are going to need some cleaning. But their shoes were, if they had a green or a G on the label, were 50 cents. So these Gianni beanies, slingbacks, super cute, very dirty. We're just going to clean them up, make them special, and get them in the live sale. Okay, so I'm going to switch you over. Does that work? Okay, so here is uh, my storage unit. I didn't bring my um, little battery, so uh, I don't have light today, but I wasn't planning on being here that long. I was just getting these items that sold, uh, this Tom's coconut deodorant and this Princess Vera Wang tank that finally sold. I think I've had it for two and a half years. So yay. Um, but I have uh, plastic bins. Um, they work okay. Uh, and I just uh, have letters on them. And I have uh, this, uh, when I first started, I had everything in a bin by type. So I had dresses in one bin. And the shorts bin um, has always been about this many shorts. There are some shorts mixed in into the other bins. Um, but I just kept that one. Uh, it can become something else at some other point. I don't know. Um, I have uh, things of shoes here. I have a little TV tray. Um, 
I have a little wrapping station. Uh, this area back here is sort of storage. Um, it's a wire dealy boppy. Um, this giant box I'm using as a stand-up desk. Uh, I tried to sell these lamps on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, there's some antique lamps in here, and they're really, really, really ugly. Um, so I don't know what to do with them. Um, I have up here some, um, what are these called? You know, the plastic, the hardcover for your laptop like this. Um, I bought a bunch of these, like a lot. Um, and they've been selling, you know, one by one. I thought they would be flying out of here, but, um, you know, s slow and steady. That's fine, too. Um, some, I keep my boots up here. Uh, there's some boxes. Um, I don't usually, I don't need that many boxes here. Usually I wake up in the morning, I see what's sold, um, and I'll bring the appropriate um, box or package to package it up if I need, if I want to package it up here. And, uh, but this is just like an overflow because I ordered a bunch of boxes just prior to Christmas. Um, these, this thing here, uh, these one, two, three shelves in the middle here, uh, right here, um, are things that either aren't listed, those are the Ikea bags here, or that need to be put into the appropriate bin. I have two bags up here. I don't really like uh, putting things that are listed in the Ikea bags because they're floppy and I don't like pulling them out, but needs must for the time, right? Uh, why am I out of breath? Kind of because I'm talking so dang fast. <sighs> so there's things that, that need to be listed. I think I kind of have them by type. I think these are all tops. I think these are dresses. Well, not that. Um, this one is vintage, I know. Uh, this is the box that I'm getting ready for thread up. Um, Oh, and then I have a little uh, drawer tower here. Um, this was when I was at the house. This was one of the original pieces that I keep. Um, you know, I have some games and stuff in there. Uh, this is crafts, uh, accessories, belts and whatnot, uh, ties. Um, this little guy right here, um, that is uh, off-season stuff. Um, here's some more of my... Uh, computer accessories, uh, these boxes, which are the USPS 12 by 12s, love them. I think they're 12 by 12 by 8. Uh, I have like toys, puzzles, toys, yoga blocks. Uh, these are just random small items, kids' items. Books are just tucked in wherever. Um, I also got these boxes from the dollar store. Um, they're just like little folded, attached lid boxes. And um, this one, it says wallets. Um, so, yeah. And so uh, one thing that you don't, may or may not know about me is, and it's so contradictory to what's going on here, um, <laughs> is I hate repeating processes. However, repeating processes is how I remember things. So um, every time... I buy something. What else is in here? Oh, I got a brooch. Oh, you didn't get the fullness of the haul. Um, I got this really cool brooch, but I can't get out of the plastic bag. There we go. A little cool silver brooch. That might go in my live sale. I don't know, but I just thought it was sweet and cool. Usually I find the best deals on brooches at estate sales. But anyway, um, every year I get a composition notebook and um, I write down everything that I bought in one trip. So this says Goodwill. It says the date I went to Goodwill. And then it says it was 50% off red day. Um, and I write down everything. And then I transcribe this to a spreadsheet. So if I'm ever missing anything, um, it's in two different places. But it also helps me remember that, oh yeah, I bought those Levi's, they're size eight, why haven't I listed them? Um, because I've, in my head, I've touched it twice. So um, yeah, that is pretty much how I do things. And um, did I not show you anything? I think I showed you everything. Um, I have some, um, oh, I know, I did not show you. 
I have up in the corner. I have some posters that I haven't dealt with yet and uh, a bunch of movies. And I think I've told you, I have so many movies. And these are um, the little uh, things that you get at Target when school starts uh, for a dollar each. And I have four of them full of movies. Um, they were free from, um, I think it's called Free Stuff Alert. Uh, you can get that app, download it, and uh, it aggregates all the data from Craigslist and uh, Facebook Marketplace and wherever else where people have like free or almost free stuff that they've put out on the curb. And um, I picked up a bunch of movies and a bunch of books for free um, and the posters for free. I have not gotten yet to list the posters, but... I got the posters for another reason because I had Atlanta posters and I had a nephew that was moving to a new uh, home and I was like, oh, I'm going to get these framed. He likes sports, doesn't like Atlanta sports. <laughs> so I have to figure out what to do with these posters. But uh, that's it. And thank you so much for watching and peace, love and shopping, y'all. Bye.